Welcome to a video from the Dislifestyle.com. New Windows 11 build to look at. This is build 25115 for Windows Insiders on the dev channel. This splits away from the beta channel again. So the beta channel, I think, is going to be focused on 22H2, which is due out soon. So we'll get sort of minor fixes and improvements to that build. And in fact, Microsoft released a separate build for that channel, which I've got, I'm going to be recording a video uh, today as well. But for the dev channel, you can actually the build numbers shot from 22 whatever to 25. Uh, and that's uh, because we're on this uh, different track now. So there's one new feature that I wanted to show you. And the reason I'm firing this over on my virtual machine is because my normal machine is on UK English. And I found this feature doesn't work on UK English, but it works on US English. And that is suggested uh, actions. So one of the things is like phone number is with phone numbers so if i go to a phone number here uh right click and do copy you also get this little pop-up there saying call and um it's detected that when i copied it now and i did it on my uk english version um it didn't work so i think you've got to check that but i think that also works with dates as well so let's give that a try so i've opened a notepad and just created a, a date copy that to clipboard and there you go, you see I can create an event on that. And I'm pretty sure the time should work as well. Let's copy that. Yeah, there we go. And I think the default action is in the calendar there. You notice when we did the phone number, it gave us um, a couple of different options. So let's just do the full date and time. Yeah, we can create an event on that. And if I go back to a phone number, It's asking me if I want to use phone link so that I can fire on my phone or the browser through Microsoft Edge. And uh, maybe if you've got Skype installed, it, it would use Skype or, or whatever your default calling devices on that machine. So there you go. So there's the new uh, feature. The rest of the changes are actually fairly minor. They fit, they've updated some icons in the Windows recovery image. That's when you sort of boot into that recovery mode and uh, They've improved the speech detection for live captions and, and volume and things like that. Uh, they've fixed some issues with the taskbar uh, with settings and personalization would crash. And they fixed some file explorer issues when you're copying from Google Drive. And uh, they fixed some exe, sort of file explorer exe crashes type things or explorer.exe. Uh, also, uh, they fixed some issues where um, with, uh, going to settings would crash as well. Taskbar has had some improvements as well, it no longer becomes unreadable in dark mode when you get to the CPU 100%. Um, I don't know how to get my CPU 100%, but um, certainly it should be readable now. Uh, they've improved the, the, the legibility of that and they've fixed some issues with security. Um, there are two known issues with this build. The Some games that use anti-cheat software may crash, so if you use anti-cheat software just be wary about going into this build obviously be careful you're on a dev build so this is the kind of thing happen and some applications in full screen uh, may not work either um won't get this on arm as well so this is for the intel only intel 64 bit systems so that's the main change with the uh with this build we've now got suggested items and we're probably going to see more uh, features coming along uh, in this build as they Microsoft try things out on the dev channel for future releases of Windows. Thanks for watching this video. You can find out more on YouTube channel on the digitallifestyle.com.